New tonight, concerns over locker room privacy turned into a lively discussion at tonight's Chico Unified School District board meeting. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma was at the meeting and shows us what the concerns are about. Increased supervision, out of date locks, locker room layouts, and phone use in locker rooms were the biggest concerns for PE teachers. Chico Unified School District dress code policies require students to dress for PE in clothing that is considered athletic appropriate. PE teachers representing both Pleasant Valley and Chico High School talked about what happens if they don't follow the rules. Parents weighed in about concern for their kids and the comfort with dressing and undressing in locker rooms. Undressing in front of um, members of the opposite sex and not feeling comfortable doing so. I think we need to protect the the girls that are being forced to change in front of boys, and you know, vice versa. If there's any kid that's uncomfortable or needs more privacy in a locker room for any reason, they should have a separate changing facility, and that's absolutely what's going on. Students lose class points if they do not dress appropriately. The result is participation and attendance rates going down and not making up the days is a problem that contributes to failing grades. I think that we all want what's best and if it, we're going to definitely go out of our way to ask our kids, what is going on? How can I help you? How, how can I make this better? What do you need? I Supervision issues occur when students dress in locker rooms. PE teachers say that this is a problem, especially because of the locker room layout and cell phone or camera use. The presentation showed statistics on grades, what the locker rooms look like, and how long they are given to prepare for PE. PE teachers and CUSD staff are looking for better ways to address these problems and help students as best as they can. This was just informational, so no actions were made just yet. Reporting in Chico, I'm Diego Moctezuma with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Now, another issue tonight, the open campus policy that allows high school students to leave campus during lunch hour. That was discussed, but ultimately it was decided that it would not be agendized at a future meeting. The vote failed three to two.